Okay, so I found, the, I found these blues background tracks on Spotify. Now, I used to play along with these background tracks when they were on CD. You'd actually make them yourself on old Casio keyboards and stuff. And they're never cool. But I like the fact that they're never cool. And they're workmanlike, and you have to get around it. So I discovered that Spotify has a bunch of blues background tracks. And I've had a really fun time playing along with them. So I thought that tonight, I'm just gonna jam along with some blues background tracks. This one's called Rumba Blues in A. And uh, I'm playing through a fractal, which I finally got to kind of squeal the way I want an amp to squeal, which is cool, because it means that amp modeling is getting close. So this is what I do in my free time is I play the guitar, go figure. Um, so this is Rumba Blues in A, and uh, we'll see how, how long it goes before this number of the people watching starts to, starts to plummet. So this is Rumba Blues, it's a rumba in A if you were playing along. <laughs> for these songs. Um, I don't think there ever exists a professional rumba in A. Uh, I don't think any artist has actually produced a rumba in A for a seven and a half minutes. I could be wrong. Uh, but anyway, I got the guitar to actually, you know... And when I practice, I'm not really thinking about people listening, so 
I'll do the same thing over and over again. Like, I'll just hang on. That's because it feels really good. Playing guitar feels really good. So a lot of the guitar playing that I've done in my life has been because it feels really good. <laughs> I'm starting to get to where it's supposed to sound really good. So when I'm playing for you, I'm like, I'm kind of doing what I do at home, which is repeat the same stuff over and over again because it feels really good. It just feels good to go. If you get it right, you can kind of hit these pinch harmonics. Let's go to a new song. There's something called Swamp Blues. Swamp Blues. Should, should, should we play Swamp Blues in D? I don't know what it's going to sound like. Here's, I've never heard of an idiom of music called Swamp Blues before. Now, I could be wrong, and it could be a thing, and that would be showing my ignorance, and that's okay, because you could then show me the masters of Swamp Blues. You could play. You say, John, there's a pantheon of Swamp Blues masters you have yet to hear, and I would go like... Well, let's hear what Swamp Blues. This is Swamp Blues in D. Play. 
Swamp Blues, I did a fair amount of major pentatonic stuff. What I'm doing now is mixing major and minor at the same time. So I'm playing a lot of minor pentatonic now in what most people play major pentatonic in. So most people are either or but if you just hit instead of and now you can blend them in. and play a little, play a half step up on the ones you, you like, you know, it's, instead of, it's, uh, and you're, it's a nice little mix, it's a nice thing to do, it's a nice thing to do for people, uh, let's do, this is a playlist, by the way, on, on Spotify of several different, uh, different makers of background tracks. And what could be more selfless a job as a musician than making background tracks? It's got to be the least fun job in the world to sit in the studio and make tracks where nobody is soloing. And you know the soloing that's going to take place is by other people who aren't you. That is the definition of a public service. I don't know what took me so long in discovering that Spotify has blues background tracks. I think people should play along with them on Instagram. I'd much rather see your playing in context. Be nice, keep you in time, keep you focused. Just saying. Okay, there's some shuffles here. We got some BPMs here. We could do. A, we could. This is a shuffle. This is a shuffle in C sharp minor, in at 160 beats per minute. Now that's what we would call jump blues, I believe. Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, C sharp. Uh, okay, okay, I don't, I'm not all done. Here's where it got me. C sharp throws everything off, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Here's C sharp, here's C sharp. It's like a, 
Clarence Gatemouth Brown thing. You could hit you can like a this is a this is like a this would be a this would be a Gatemouth Brown thing would be like <laughs> stuff, you know. Um, anyway, maybe I'll do something on a different, I'll do something a little slower, something a little slower. I don't know what rainy day blues in E is. Maybe that's like Stormy Monday or something, because I have to like fly around the intellectual property of it all. Um, slow blues in D minor, we've not been in D minor. How's everybody doing out there watching me practice? I don't think I would have ever gotten any work done if I had Instagram Live when I was... Hi guys, it's John. I'm 14 years old. This is my Casio keyboard. I programmed a blues, a blues progression into it, and this is me playing my Fender Squire through, through Live Squire 15 Watt app. And I'm just playing along with my Casio SK5. So thanks for watching me, guys. You can uh, get my Skype lessons by by uh, emailing me. Um, all right, this is this is the slow blues in D minor. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the neck pickup on this. I think it might. Oh yeah. start doing that I'm like a second away from that there is a moment in practice where you go how far out can I take this thing anyway again I'm playing through a fractal which is pretty close the one thing it doesn't respond to well is a change in guitar volume so it 
it, because it's an amp modeler, it doesn't quite understand gain structure. It doesn't quite get it. But if you turned up all the way, you'd be like... <laughs> turn down just a little bit kind of goes away really quickly and so it's really kind of an on off switch and it's gone. what's that about a seven and a quarter radius what's that all right, well, nothing's more fun in this lifetime than going out to dinner and coming home and picking up a guitar and just practicing, just playing. I don't even call it practicing. Yeah, amp modelers can only understand so much. Yeah, amp modelers don't quite understand two things. They don't understand the impulse of the note, so they don't quite get the contact with the string correct, like the way, that, the way a tube goes whoosh in, you know, what I call the whoosh of a note. It, amp modelers don't yet know how to take a note and kind of squeeze it the right way and send it out. Second thing is, there's a lot of harmonic artifacting taking place if you play more than one string at the same time. Like if you play, you know, you do one of those bends where you're playing three notes at once, and you're holding two, you're bending, bending the third one, it just goes on top of it because it doesn't quite understand how to like translate all that three different notes of harmonic information. It just freaks out. But it's pretty close. I mean, it's not bad. And I got a powered cabinet that you can play Bluetooth through. So that's, I got my old iPhone, my iPhone 10, the old one. Um, Anyway, 10 is such a cool number, and 11 is such a tough number to be cool. And it was like, iPhone 10, that's an X. Then you got to go from X to 10 to 11. 11. But the Line 6 Spider 4 is just like a dumbbell if you said it right. Could be. You could, fool, you could fool anybody. You could fool me. You could fool anybody. You could, you can... It's, a, it's equal parts scientific and total dumb fuckery at the same time. If you release an entire mixtape of solo checks, listen to the whole thing. Well, that's very... Soloing through a long car ride, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little negative about soloing, but I just look out for other people. I don't think they want to hear hours and hours of soloing. Most of my favorite riff to play, I don't have a favorite riff to play. I don't have any riffs that I play. I mean, I have phrases that I'm, I kind of play, but... I don't sit down at a guitar and play riffs. Like, I'll see what a guitar wants to do, you know? makes you better it makes you play more in time when you're it's like practicing playing in time like this you just get different grooves that's where Queen of California comes from on the
I've just been playing a lot of Jimmy Vaughn stuff in my house. Not like, sometimes I play the songs, but I'll just do Jimmy Vaughn intonation. <laughs> Some more guitar.